please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. What's up guys? I just got back and on my doorstep is something everybody wants to see on their doorstep when they get home. This is what you want right here. So we're gonna take a look at what's inside. I've been waiting for this package for a while. I've seen other team members get theirs. I just haven't been home. Let's see what we can do this right here. All right. So, new tester disc for us. I'm sure you've all seen these. This is James Conrad's new fairway driver, the Terra. Right, overstable fairway driver, speed eight, glide five, turn zero, fade three. It's supposed to be an overstable fairway driver. I wonder how it's going to fare against the Fireball and Tesla, um, the Shock, other discs, other overstable discs like that, but it is an eight speed, so uh, I think that's the same speed as the Volt. So it's supposed to be more overstable than the Volt. Uh, it has a nice feel to it. It isn't as flat as the Fireballs that I have, which is a good thing. You wanna have that variable, right? So it has a good feel in the hand, really fills out the hand. Feels good with the flick grip here. That dome, just a little bit of dome gives it a little bit of room for that flick grip. So I'm really, really curious to see how this thing flies for me and for my flick in general. Second disc that we have in here, something I'm probably gonna love because I throw a bunch of the Neutron versions of this plastic. You know, Conrad throws the glow version and stuff like that. So the Fission Reactor. I think that people have been waiting for this to come out. I know I have. Let's talk about the Fission Plastic for a second though. So the first Fission Plastic was super gummy. I loved it. I, I, love, I love gummy discs. Something that I like about MVPs, gummier discs are you know, like, like the soft Neutron stuff is you have that soft plastic in the middle, but the rim is always the same. So that's the consistent part. So you can get that consistent uh, grip with the rim, uh, but you can get your sense of feel in the middle. So it's there's something for everybody, hard plastic, medium plastic, soft plastic. Um, so the first run of Fission was softer, right? And the second run seemed to be super hard and stiff. And I'll just be honest with you, I didn't like it. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, and this new plastic seems to be a combination of the two. So it's it's got some good flex to it. It's super grippy right out of the box. A lot of the times when you get plastic in, you know, it, it, it's slippery right out of the box until you, until you kind of break it in. This is grippy right out of the box and doesn't have that hard feel. It's not too gummy, but you can see it has that little bounce to it. So you can really get a good handle on it. I have one that's 160 and the other one is 173. So I got a variety and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how the flight differs between the different weights. And uh, I'm also gonna take one of my Neutron and one of my Cosmic Neutron reactors out uh, to really see the different flights. So. Keep a lookout for that. I'm gonna do a comparison video and I'm also gonna do a video on the Terra. So keep a lookout for those. Uh, we just had a snowstorm yesterday. So I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna go out in the snow. Nobody does. Uh, I'm gonna wait for it to uh, get a little bit warmer. I am going to Virginia next week for a match play and uh, I'll probably test them out out there. So keep a lookout for that. And I want you, if you were able to try the Terra or a fission reactor. I want you guys to uh, to let me know how you like it and what it compares to in your mind. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you out there.